Welcome to the Hour of Harvest. It is great to have you with us as we worship the Lord. Sit and back and enjoy as we share the good news of the gospel. We invite you to participate along with us as we sing songs of praise, read the Bible, and pray for those in need. The Hour of Harvest prayer team is standing by to take your prayer requests, praise reports, and lead souls to the Lord. You may call us at 606-464-4250 at any time during this program. May this program be a place where you feel accepted, loved, forgiven, and encouraged in the Lord. Hour of Harvest is touching countless souls with the unconditional love of Christ from the Appalachian Mountains to the Bluegrass region, across the nation, and around the world. From our studios in Beattyville, Kentucky, here is your host of the Hour of Harvest, Margaret Drake. Good evening and welcome to our service tonight. We hope you're ready to spend some time thinking and talking about the Lord because that's what we're here for. We're here to in bring words of encouragement to you from the Bible and then also to share singing and prayer requests. We have a prayer uh, phone, phone answers up there. If you, if you want to uh, call or need to call, that'll be fine. So uh, we just welcome you to stay tuned because I believe we're going to have a good service. But I want to share some scripture with those that uh, couldn't, too sick to read today. In, uh, in uh, Romans, the 10th chapter, it says, starting with the 8th verse, uh, this chapter is uh, a long one, but we'll just read a portion of it. Uh, starting with the 8th verse, And what say then? The word is nigh thee, even in thy mouth and in thy heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth, believeth on him shall not be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek. For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon him. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they that call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except he be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. All right, talking about how can you believe in the Lord if you haven't heard from him. Well, that's our, our place here is to try to share the good news with people so they can hear about him and so they can be saved because it's, he's not willing that any should perish. And so whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You might think, well, you don't, you, you're not feeling that right now. You don't think that you need it. But uh, there will come a time when you will be alone. You will need help more than anyone around you can help you. And that is the why it's so important to know the Lord as your personal Savior. Call on Him. He is your best friend, and He'll be there to help you. That's the great thing about it. So there's Scripture now. Now was Romans 10th chapter 8 through 15th. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank You for the fact that You have made it so plain for us that we can be saved. We can uh, repent of our sins, and You forgive us. And Tonight, Lord, if anyone has tuned in that does not know about you, help us to be able to present the news about you to where they will have a desire to have the peace and, and the wonderful relationship that we can have with you. We thank you, Lord, for those that are saved, those that are hanging in there, staying true to your word, and for those that are being tried and tested, we ask for extra strength for your uh, angel to protect them, give them the discernment on what is destroying their faith. So 
bless our guests, our phone operators, that, Lord, we're, we want to just lift up your name because it's in that name that we have salvation. And it's in that name we pray. Amen. All right, tonight we uh, are happy to have with us Helen Lewis Bluegrass Gospel from West Liberty, and they do have CDs to call them and order those CDs. Call 606-743-4047, and they will be glad to hear from you. All right, let's welcome right now Helen Lewis Bluegrass Gospel. There's a place dear to me where I'm longing to be With my friends at the old country church Where with mother we went and our Sundays were spent With my friends at the old country church Precious years, Precious years of memories we Oh, what joy, great joy, they bring to me. Joy they bring to me. I long, I long once more to be. Once more to be with my friends at the old country church. Small country girl, how my heart filled with joy when we met at that old country church. Jesus, we sung His praises. We won with my friends at the old country church. Precious years of memories. Oh, what joy they bring to me! How long once more to be with my friends? My friends at the old country church. Margaret, I'm glad to be here tonight. Glad the Lord brought us through everything out this year. We've had a bad year. My boys has been sick, and I had a sick spell, and I thank the Lord he's brought us through everything. And I got a lot of requests. As I'm going to call three or four names, and all the rest of them just have to wonder. They might want me. Bobby Jones said, be sure I send him out a song. And Melvin Lewis and Burl Lewis, my family, and uh, Phyllis and Ishmael, they take care of Melvin for me anymore because he had a sick spell. Alfie Clevenger and um, Miss Ratliff, Juanita Ratliff, she's fell and broke a hip, and she wanted to hear us tonight. So all the friends that we went to church with, and I just thank the Lord for that. So I'm going to let them sing now. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. No, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. What he's done for me, Lord, what he's done for me. When the Lord saved me, let me tell you I was young. He filled me with the sweet Holy Ghost and I spoke in another tongue. And ever since that moment, and ever since that day, I found a highway called holiness and I'm happy on my way. He feeds me when I'm hungry, he cheers me when I'm sad, and he has been the dearest friend that I have ever had. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. No, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. What he's done for me, Lord, what he's done for me. I remember one day lying in my bed of pain. I looked up to heaven. And I called upon his holy name. The power of God came on me. I felt the heavenly host. I got up from my bed of sickness full of the Holy Ghost. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. No, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. Well, 
you don't know like I know what he's done for me. What he's done for me, Lord, what he's done for me. Well, listen to my story that I am about to tell. I was lost on my way to a burning hell. I knelt down at the altar, and the Lord, he met me there. He removed all my birds of sin when I had my altar of prayer. Well, you, you don't, don't know like I know, know what he's done for me. No, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. What he's done for me, Lord, what he's done for me. He feeds me when I'm hungry. He cheers me when I'm sad. And he has been the dearest friend that I have ever had. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. You don't know like I know what he's done for me. Well, you don't know like I know what he's done for me. What he's done for me, Lord, what he's done for me. Central's never busy, always on the line. You may feel from heaven almost any time. Tis the royal service, free for one and all. When you get in trouble, give this royal line a call. Telephone to glory, oh, what joy divine. I can feel the current. Moving on the line, built for God the Father, for His loved and known. We may talk to Jesus through this royal telephone. There will be no charges, telephone is free. It was built for service, just for you and me. There will be no waiting on this royal line. Always answers just in time. Telephone to glory. Oh, what joy divine. I can feel the current moving on the line. Feel for God the Father, for his love and all. We may talk to Jesus through this royal telephone. Fail to get the answer. Satan's crossed your wire. By some strong delusion or some base desire. Take away obstructions, God is on the throne. And you'll get an answer through this royal telephone. Telephone to glory, oh, what joy divine. I can feel the current moving on the line. Feel for God the Father. through this royal telephone if your line is grounded and connection true has been lost with jesus tell you what to do prayer and faith and promise mend the broken wire tell your soul is burning with the pentecostal fire telephone to glory oh what joy divine I can feel the current moving on the line. Feel for God the Father, for his loved and all. We may talk to Jesus through this royal telephone. Carnal combinations cannot get control of this line to glory anchored in the soul. Storm and trial cannot disconnect. joy divine I can feel the current moving on the line feel for God the Father for his love and all we may talk to Jesus
out to all the Staten family, too, and your family, Roberta. Melvin loves to hear her sing. He he loves to hear everybody, that little she boy of mine. <laughs> sing, Price. I think everybody knows us, so go ahead. I think everybody knows all of us anyway. But I told the Lord that I'd tell this. I didn't get to come the last time I had to cancel. And I was sitting there reading the Bible, and he said, Tell, when you get there, let everybody know what the Word says. And I was reading it, and it said not to offend one of the little ones. Because right. if we offend one of the little ones, it's better for us to have a millstone tied around our necks and thrown into the lake. And if you want to know where that's at, it's in Luke 17, 1, 2, and 3. Check me out and see if I'm right. I told the Lord I'd tell it. I was supposed to done it the other time, and I didn't, and I got real sick, and I thought of it. And I thought, well, you know, the next time I get there, I'm going to tell it. So Now you heard it. <laughs> Everybody pray for us, and I'm going to try to sing. What kind of a man? What kind of a man? Tell me what kind of man Jesus is. What kind of a man, what kind of a man, tell me what kind of man Jesus is. Well, he healed the sick, and he raised the dead, tell me what kind of man Jesus is. He healed the sick, and he raised the dead, tell me what kind of man Kind of a man. What kind of a man? What kind of a man? What kind of a man? Tell me what kind of man Jesus is. What kind of a man? What kind of a man? What kind of a man? Tell me what kind of man Jesus is. Well, he spoke to the water. The water obeyed. Tell me. Spoke to the water, the water obeyed. Tell me what kind of man Jesus is. What kind of man? What kind of man? What kind of man? 
kind of a man? What kind of a man? Tell me what kind of man Jesus is. What kind of a man? What kind of a man? What kind of a man? Tell me what kind of man Jesus is. He's coming back for you and me. Tell me what kind of man Jesus is. He's coming back. For you and me, tell me what kind of man Jesus is. What kind of a man? What kind of man? What kind of a man? What kind of man? Tell me what kind of man Jesus is. What kind of a man? What kind of a man? What kind of a man? Tell me what kind of man Jesus is. Tell me what kind of Get up, get up, get up in Jesus' name. The Lord is calling daily to those who would be saved. Now don't go down defeated while victory's sure to claim. Get up, get up, get up in Jesus' name. At the gate called Beautiful, there lay out in the street a poor and lonely beggar who was crippled in his feet. As John and Peter passed by, they saw his need was bad. They had no gold or silver, but they gave him what they had. Get up, get up, get up in Jesus' name. The Lord is calling daily to those who would be saved. Now don't go down to Peter while victory sure to claim. Get up in Jesus' name. In the day we're living in, there's evil everywhere. Our bodies is just scary, and our hearts are filled with fear. But God is a need soldier. Get out of the pew and take a hold of that power that John and Peter used. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up in Jesus' name. Christian, you are part of the family of God, right? And that's the best family to Did belong to, right? Amen. So we're going to try to do this, and I uh, think a Kia A again. <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed. around here it's because we're a family and these folks are so near when one has a heartache we all share the tears and rejoice in each victory in this family so 
dear. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood. Join us with Jesus as we travel. to the girls that works at the Dairy Queen. I told them I'd give them a good name tonight to keep us from starving to death. A lot of them wouldn't work and wouldn't serve you when you got there. And I'm wondering half the time they pay for it for me before I even get out the door. So thank the Lord for them. Thank the Lord for all the good people. Sing, Price. I'd like to sing this out to Miss Trad there in East I used to be a baby.
the Lord. I thank you. Uh, I think I introduced everybody, but I'm Helen. And this is my sister Margaret, Roberta, Price, and Ann Clemens. And he's a Watson, but anyway, I get their names all mixed up. And uh, we got uh, Audrey's family with us, and he's here tonight. We got Brother playing here the bass first, and I'm glad every one of us is sure. Yeah, Don's a playing bass for you, folks. He's getting me on the way up here. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> okay, we'll send the old program out to all of them that I forgot tonight. A lot of them told us now. You let us know, but you can't think of everybody, you know. So I'm going to try to do 99 and a half won't do. I told the Hazel Green Church of God that I'd do that for them. And if you all want to call in here for prayer, call in. We got Dottie up there and a lot of good people praying. And call us at any time. I tell you, if it's midnight and you need prayer, call on us and we'll help you pray. So let's sing 99 and a half won't do. 99 and a half won't do. 99 and a half won't do. You got to live right to make a hundred. 99 and a half won't do. You got to pray right to make a hundred. 99 and a half won't do. You got to pray right to make a hundred. 99 and a half won't do. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. You've got to pray right to make a hundred. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. you got to treat your neighbor right make a hundred. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. You gotta treat your neighbor right to make a hundred. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. You gotta treat your neighbor right to make a hundred. Ninety-nine and a half won't do. Make a hundred from all of it. I tell you, the Lord's been good to us. Key in, Margaret. Be short. The first of three sheets. All alone and broken hearted, trying to calm the raging battles in my mind. In search of an answer. That this troubled soul just couldn't seem to find. I saw a flower blooming where there was no rain or sunshine. And I know that this flower would change the rest of my life. I found the lily in my valley. I found place to leave my burden I found refuge from the storm a place where I can trade my dark skies to a beaming ray of sunshine I found the lily in my valley and he blooms all the so if you're down and broken hearted and you just can't seem to find a peace of mind, you've searched for an answer, but your problem's getting worse all the time. Just lift your hands to Jesus. He'll take you in and break the ties that bind. Yes, I found the lily in my valley. I found strength when I was born. A place to leave my burden. I found refuge from the storm. 
you can watch him bloom all the time. feel ashamed to ask him for for more than what he gives you because he gives you everything you have everything you have on this earth is because he let us have that you know so i feel very blessed and thankful for what god has given me troubles come and i can't find an answer lonely nights i spend in agony friend that I can turn to. So here I am, Lord, back upon my knees. It's me again, Lord. I got a prayer that needs an answer. It's me again, Lord. I got a problem that I can't solve. Well, I don't mean to worry you, but here I am. I need help, it only comes from you. It's me again, Lord. Well, I know you're mighty busy in your heaven, forming worlds and hanging stars to shine. But you said if I asked, I'd receive it. So here I am. again, Lord. I got a prayer that needs an answer. It's me again, Lord. I got a problem that I can't solve. Well, I don't mean to worry you, but here I am facing something new. When I need help, it only comes from you. It's me again, Lord.
Savior calls, I will answer when he calls for me. I will hear him when my Savior calls, I will answer. I'll be somewhere listening for my I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. If my robe is white when he calls. If my robe is white, I will hear him. If my robe is white, when he calls me, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. sinner, where will you be if he called? Oh, sinner, where will you be when he called? Oh, sinner, where will you be if he called? You'll be somewhere listening for your name. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere somewhere listening for my name. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Send that out to all the res rescue people over there at the rest home. We went over there for years and years and we'd sing to them, you know, and there a lot of them's died off, but send it out to them. We got one more song, he says. Margaret sing. Some came crippled and some came lame, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Some came walking in Jesus' name, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Oh, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready, Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready, Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Now, if you get there before I do, walking in Jerusalem just like John, tell all my friends that I'm coming to, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Oh, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready, Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Oh, John, oh, John, what did you say? Walking in Jerusalem just like John. I'll meet you there in the judgment day. Walking in Jerusalem just like John. Oh, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready, Lord. Walking in Jerusalem just like John. Now, if you get there before I do, walking in Jerusalem just like John, tell all my friends that I'm coming to, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Oh, I want to be ready, I want to be ready, I want to be ready, Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Now Murray came walking to the city with a golden chain, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Every lamp's in Jesus' name, walking in Jerusalem just like John. Oh, I want to be ready. I want to be ready. I want to be ready, Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. I 
wanna be ready. I wanna be ready. I wanna be ready, Lord, walking in Jerusalem just like John. All right, thank you, uh, Helen Lewis Bluegrass Gospel from West Liberty, Kentucky. They do have CDs. You may order them by calling 606-743-4047. And that'll be Helen's number, and she will tell you all about it. We have some calls in here tonight. Uh, here's a praise report. I prayed with this lady early this morning when I just had gotten to work and uh, Phyllis from Laurel County she wanted her brother was having surgery today and so she calls and says that her brother's surgery went well and that's what we asked for early this morning and so that uh, that's good thank you Phyllis for letting us know that all right from Monticello uh, Marcella has called uh, and it's for Della and Charles. Uh, one has COVID and the other, his kidney is stopped and they're taking him off of the machines tomorrow and pray for the entire family. Name with health from uh, down in Harlan has several prayer requests. WLJC is her church and she's had a lot of prayers answered by calling WLJC. And the reason being is there's a lot of people helps us pray for these requests. It's we all pray upstairs, the phone operators do. We pray here and on the air. But then when we, it goes out all over the world and uh, there's a lot of Christian people, good old seasoned saints that's prayed through many of a battle. They join with us for these prayer requests at night. And that's why that you see so many, uh, so many prayers answered. Someone got a prayer through. The more you have praying for uh, something, the better off you will be. Here's someone from Clay City. Uh, pains in their knee. Surgery scheduled as soon as he gets his, his uh, sugar under control. Watches every night. All right, uh, Pam from Perry County. She has no legs and she's a diabetic and she's only 54 years of age and she, she really needs prayer. Uh, George has called for Nancy, he's on dialysis and uh, his uh, kid, and of course the kidneys is the problem and uh, where they put a post in for the kidney thing, it is bleeding at this time. So she needs prayer. Uh, this one is for Pearl from Breathitt County, urgent request, cancer surgery, and, and now she's uh, bleeding. Can't get the bleeding stop for Pearl from uh, uh, Breathitt County. Uh, here's Sally, uh, and that's a serious request. Did not want it mentioned, so that's a serious one. A daughter has called for a mom that really, really needs a touch from the Lord. A family member from Breathitt County, uh, the Fugit and Moore families, said the grandma has passed away. A granddaughter has called for the grandpa, uh, Bill Cox of Whitley County. A mother has called for her son that's uh, hurt his back, and the mom has health issues also. Althea uh, from uh, West Liberty has called, and uh, needs healing there and then we have Juanita from Wolf County has a broken hip. Uh, Michael, uh, his wife is called from Rock Castle. Radiation for throat cancer uh, starts next week. Linda from Morgan County has COPD and no energy and needs prayer. Junior from Barberville for that family. Pulaski County wanted a song, anything about mothers, and pray for uh, uh, for all of the small children. Judy has called for Bertha from Pike County. Her sugar is 203 reading right now. So she, uh, she wants a healing there. 
a friend has called for Buford, and uh, it's a serious, serious request that uh, they do not want it shared, but just he, he really needs a touch. A dad has called for his family from Menifee County. A lady has called from uh, Pike County um, for physical needs. And then here is a young father that is uh, r having to care for his two small children, just infants. And um, the, the mom has left the home because she's on drugs and left the dad to uh, try to raise these two babies. And so he's calling out to God for help. And, and of course, that would be a serious thing to try to, try to raise children without their mom. And um, so we need to pray again for people that are under this addiction, under this control of drugs and alcohol that is destroying. You know, the, devil's, uh, the, the Bible says the devil has come to steal, kill, and to destroy. Anything that's happening in your life that fits under those categories, you know where it comes from. It's from the devil, not the Lord. He's not uh, just testing you. That's just the devil come, trying to come and steal everything uh, that you have. But you cannot give in. You can't throw up your hands and say, life's too hard. No, just get a grip. Once again, renew who you are in the Lord. See yourself as how God sees you. And that gives you confidence. Well, if God be for us, who can be against us is one scripture. And we know this is true. Uh, there's not anything that can um, hinder when God does something for us. But our part is to keep faith and to believe. Believe for uh, healing, deliverance, and especially for family members that are bound tonight, not doing, not raising their children, not being the parents they should be. We need to pray for deliverance. And God can help and heal. I just uh, received a word yesterday, I guess it was, that uh, I had a, a, a family, uh, someone in my generation that uh, had, uh, had a family member that the doctors had given him up uh, to die because that he had he'd, uh, been drinking for a long time and his liver was gone and uh, and he smoked heavily, and so the doctors didn't think they could do anything for him unless he got a new liver uh, transplant. But uh, a lot of people have been praying for him. And so the word is now, he went back to the doctor this week and said that he had improved so much because he had stopped drinking and smoking back in December. And it had improved his health so much that the doctor is telling him now if he will continue to abide by that, then he won't need a, a liver transplant. So the family was very happy uh, for that to happen. And, uh, uh, you know, many times when you do something to hurt your body, uh, it's, uh, you about have to quit that before we can believe the Lord to, to help us. All right, this last call came in is from Pike. County from Douglas for Hattie, uh, for a sister-in-law that has uh, uh, blood pressure problems and says she watches WLJC all, uh, all the time. I appreciate that. And so now we want to pray um, for those that didn't call tonight. We know this is a busy time of the year. Many are uh, visiting uh, the cemeteries and being reminded of their loved ones and, and uh, and it, uh, it's something of a time that we really need healing. And uh, if our loved ones, uh, they're, they're safe with Jesus. And we, we don't have to grieve as someone that has no hope. If, we're, if they're with him, that's where we want to go. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for heaven tonight. We thank you that it is a reality. And all of our sick folks and the ones that are bed faced and without legs and arms and they are suffering so much and every day just seems to be the same and they get so tired and weary 
they get homesick. I know they do. And so, Lord, renew that vision of heaven for them. Help them to know how wonderful it will be when we can lay this body down and receive a new one, a perfect body, because it will be like the Lord Jesus. And so tonight, for those that have wandered, have strayed from the right way, they have strayed from what they have been taught and what they have lived, we ask you to pull them back, Lord. In your love, pull them back and help them to see the error of their way. And we do ask, Father, for those that are bound in drugs, that they will be delivered and that they will know that you helped them have the strength to recover. So bless each person tonight. Lord, you know what the needs are and, and how to deal with us, and we thank you for that. Bless our, uh, our group that's been here and give them safety on the way home. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, we uh, appreciate you calling and appreciate the fact that... Uh, that people are uh, still uh, sending and helping, helping us a little with our, the finances since we no longer have uh, telephones. While many of the singers, when they come, uh, they always remember to help, and we appreciate that. And every time that I open a letter, I think, now, Lord, they didn't have to do this, but they did this because they love this ministry and love what we're doing. We're trying to get the word out to let people change their ways so they won't miss heaven. And so I appreciate all the friends that WLJC has. Well, our time is come and gone, so from all of us, we want to say good night and God bless you. Thank you for being a part of the Hour of Harvest. We hope that you are truly blessed and encouraged every time you watch. This program is made possible by your contribution and support. Would you become a financial partner of the Hour of Harvest with a one-time or monthly offering? You can send your pledges of support to the Hour of Harvest, Post Office Box Y, Bayville, Kentucky, 41311, or visit us online at www.hourofharvest.com. May God bless you.